also wish you all a very happy new year 2024 may all your dreams your hard work come true this time so once again wishing you a very happy joyful uh, happy new year 2024 okay <clears throat> and we are starting our today's session which is ancient and medieval india revision and we will start with some very crucial current affair topics of history uh, some very important current affair topics. I am giving you a compilation of current affairs, uh, history and culture plus personalities, current affairs compilation I am giving you by the end of this session. So some very crucial topics which I share with you, current affair topics of history and culture I will share with you, then we will come to our ancient and medieval, okay. So <clears throat> we know that of course ancient medieval that plays a very crucial role in preliminary examination around uh, five to six questions you can expect from this ancient and medieval part including the culture and in gs1 mains gs1 there is culture there is culture part ancient medieval culture part questions they ask in the mains gs1 paper you know okay apart the crucial honor okay <clears throat> let's discuss some very crucial current affair topics from history and culture starting with uh, anubha mandaba you might have uh, read it in the hindu newspaper in the current affairs you might have read it yes this anubha mandaba recently that karnataka chief minister laid foundation to this superstructure this building which is anubha mandaba which is in basava kalyan this is in karnataka and you know this is dedicated to uh, the 12th century philosopher uh, lingayat uh, founder saint uh, what was his name? Basavana, you know, Basavana, he is the founder of Lingayatu tradition, am I right? Lingayatu tradition. So, coming to Lingayatu tradition, we know that when it comes to Bhakti Sufi movements, we discussed uh, Bhakti movements, Saguna, Nirguna, Bhakti cult from this, you know, Tamil Nadu version, 8th century, 9th century, 10th century, 11th, 12th century. We have seen there is Bhakti movement that uh, comes in Karnataka in 12th century, Lingayatu tradition. And the founder is Basavana, Basavaneshwara, okay, that believes, that rejected the ideas of Dharma Shastra, it believes no caste discrimination, no pollution theory, no theory of rebirth, yes, encouraged practices which is disapproved in Dharma Shastra. Dharma Shastra ila parnirikinna inakke, edira itolla, oru so called, oru egalitarian, it's a social reform, it is a social reform, a religious reform, it is a there is no pollution theory, there is no belief in that pollution theory, there is no belief in the karma doctrine, yes, there is no belief in that uh, rebirth theory, then see, encouraged practices which are disapproved by Dharma Shastra, okay, post-puberty marriages in a support, you know, oppose, you know, Lingayatra tradition, in a support, you know, oppose, you know, in a support, you know, post-puberty marriages in a support, you know, widow remarriage in a support, you know, Okay, widow remarriage in a support, you know, and it to promote the idea of equality. Please take care. Lingayatu tradition, you know, they worship Lord Shiva, Ishtalinga, manifestation of God, you know, belief in single God, and the single God manifestation is Ishtalinga, Lord Shiva, and the wear that, you know, Shiva, uh, you remember, we already discussed in the class, okay, they worship Shiva as Ishtalinga, you see, uh, yes, here the concept is like, Lingayatu tradition de basic teachings and lingal adinda ideologies and the kyanola the focus here adinda founder adehatinda philosophies adehatinda teachings and the kyanola the focus here adehatinda literary contributions and the kyanola the focus here for example his works in poetry is called Vajanas his teachings you know that collection is called Vajanas so let's have a look into this Anubhava Mandava is a beautiful structure, it is a six floor structure built in a total area of I think 7.5 acre plot, you know, and it showcases the teachings, the philosophies, the contributions of this Basavana or this Basavaneshwara who is the founder of this Lingayatu tradition, who is the founder of the Lingayatu tradition, 12th century, you know, 12th century tradition belonging to Karnataka region. And see, this structure is built in Kalyan, Kalyani Chalukya architecture. Kalyani Chalukya is a Nagara style, no, Versara style, no, and Dravida style. No, Pariboshi picture. Versara style. Okay, Kalyani Chalukyas. Chalukyas, you see that they were patrons of this Versara style of temple architecture. You must understand. Dakani style is called. Dakani style is, you know, that is Versara style of temple architecture. North Indian style is. Nagara style, South Indian style is 
Dravida style. Decadian style is Versera style. I used to say that is the hybrid style of Nagara Dravida. That is Versera style. So, this is the UPC question. I will tell you that the superstructure is a structure. That is the particular architectural style. This This type of the questions you can expect. Okay, when these things are in the news, you know, the static portions are usually questions. So, just to see, his spiritual discipline was based on the principles of Ariva, Ajara, Anubhava. Ariva is true knowledge, Ajara is right conduct, Anubhava is divine experience. So, please take care. When you study these, you are focus on the Have an idea about this Lingayat tradition. Okay, you know this is a 12th century movement. It is a socio-religious movement. Then see that, uh, yes, uh, this man, Basavana Basavaneshwara, he established Anuva Mandaba. Okay, that was a structure or a public institution where these open debates were held. Scholars and religious leaders of different religions being invited and this, you know, debates were held in this Anubhava Mandaba. Same structure, you know, recently Karnataka Chief Minister laid foundation to Anubhava Mandaba. This is a six floor structure built in a, a total area of 7.5 acre plot and it is to showcase or it is as a tribute to the contributions teachings of this Baswana, Baswaneshara, yes, this Lingayat founder. Okay, a Bhakti is saying. Now, question you see, he was the founder of Lingayatism. Is it, is it true? Is it true? Yes. His spiritual discipline was based on the principles of Ariva, Achara and Anubhava. Okay. This is the way. Just practice the questions. When you cover these current affairs, just practice the questions. Okay. We are not doing any PhD in the current affairs. Just to cover maximum topics. That's it. Okay. By ingre deeper item the Poganda. Just cover the topics. Just cover as many as possible. Current affair topics of history and culture. Now, get into this one. There is Porpane Cote site. Recently, this was in the news. Archaeological excavations by Archaeological Survey of India. And there is finding of this gold stud, bone point, and the Kalinian bird belonging to Sangamage. So, it is giving you a message that uh, they already engaged in this domestic trade. International. We know that they had a trade with the Roman Empire. Am I right? They had a trade with the Roman Empire, they had a trade with these western portions of India or other portions of Indian subcontinent and see these are things discovered with these very archaeological excavations. Archaeological excavation which is Porpane Cote site. This is, you see that this is in this site. Chalpa angana than a UPC Chodikim, e particular archaeological site Engote belong Chaino, Alangal is a Sangam Saitano, Mauryan Saitano, Vedic Saitano, IVC Saitano, Megalithic Saitano, Angan question so Chodikarand. So please try to understand this is this is you know this is this is in Tamil Nadu, gold stud, bone point, and this Kalnian bead being discovered belonging to Sangam age. And let us say that this is in Tamil Nadu. Upon Ningal, Sraddik and other, this particular site in the Savisation and the Anonola Nokia Madi. Kanangana UPC Chodika under when the sites are in the news, when the sites are in the when sites are in the news, Adina Basi the two questions Chodika. Even then you expect him better than the questions nor another. Obviously, other A the age like belong Chayinu and Noladana. Whether it is an IVC site, whether it is a Vedic site, whether it is a Buddhist site, whether it is a Sangam site, whether it is a Mauryan site, whether it is Imperial Chola site, okay. If site is a site, it belongs to you. If you have any findings, it belongs to you. Okay. When these things are... When these things are, you know, discovered, try to understand that, uh, yes, their uh, metallurgy was advanced uh, and also, yes, they were engaged in domestic trade. Okay. Then there is another thing, which is, you know, Tangesh building method. Recently, we have seen this Cultural Ministry of India and Indian Navy. They signed this, uh, yes, uh, Memorandum of Understanding. They signed this Memorandum of Understanding that is to revive this uh, Tangesh building method. Okay, Tange shipbuilding method. Tange shipbuilding method in the Anna Chalpam. Even a UPC Jodikan the question in any Arikum. Tange with regard to the cultural history of India. Tange and the Anna and Arikan Jodikan the day. Pencilayo. About this is, you know, this is an ancient stitched ship, shipbuilding method as it is shown in the image. Just you see. Okay, Anya Dicho or Pikiella Jaina the Stitchy Gana Jaina the Anna Jaina the 
this can be used in your essay also okay this is you know in order to showcase this excellence of this craftsmanship of this ancient you know or uh, ancient uh, craft workers avare etrathole excelled ayirunno ennu soojipikkuna or element ningale essay le related topics cover cheyumbol ee angles okke ningalku essay le kondu varam illengil ningalku mains gs1 il answer writing il examples aayittu kondu varam when you discuss on this you know ancient architecture um allengil ancient ancient architecture the marvels okke discuss cheyumbol examples kondu varavunnadanu so please try to understand tanke ship building method this is ancient stitched ship building method ancient stitched ship building method and uh, this uh, stitching wooden planks together to construct ships rather than using nails yes this is something preserving india's rich maritime heritage and cultural history appo ee oru initiative adayathu cultural ministry of india and indian navy together they signed a memorandum of understanding that was to revive this rich maritime cultural heritage of india you know this is to revive this so called endana the ship building method this is ancient stitched ship building method idine idine revive cheyanum preserve cheyanum obviously idu logathe kaanikkanum vendittulla oru recent initiative appol aa tangay ennoru concept endanu ningal arinjirikka adine base cheythu upc questions chodikkam in fact avaru chodichittund or example aayittu i will show you with regard to cultural history of india term tangay refers to what ancient term for organic farming no medieval indian term for wrestling match yes ancient uh, stitched ship building method ancient form of buddhist chanting ingeyulla choices aayirikkum therunnathu appol sometimes you know the literary meaning will help you to understand literary meaning will help you to understand and to eliminate other choices okay so the terms are very important for you don't ever skip it now see there is another question tanke method recently seen in the news is related to architecture jewelry design ship building calligraphy ingeni questions chodichittund that also you just practice keep in the mind okay then see there is cockbrook language nammal kandu recently santali language being you know added into this india's official language list you know eighth schedule of the constitution dealing with uh, yes that is that is official languages of india so let me ask you frankly how many official languages india has 22 22 yeah here the languages you know when you study the languages upc used to ask questions like this yes the language the family they belong to or particular tribes the languages of the tribes okay idakka valare crucial aanu in fact chodichittunde so this uh, cockbrook language this is declared as official language of tribura by this tribal areas autonomous district council and this language is spoken by a particular people see എപ്പോഴും നമ്മൾ ശ്രദ്ധിക്കേണ്ടത് ലാംഗ്വേജസ് എസ്പെഷ്യലി ട്രൈബൽ ലാംഗ്വേജസ് ഒക്കെ കവർ ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ ട്വന്റി ട്വന്റി വണ്ണിൽ അവരൊരു ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ചോദിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ടായിരുന്നു യു റിമെമ്പർ ഐ വിൽ ഷോ യു ദ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ സോ വെൻ യു കവർ ദ ലാംഗ്വേജസ് യു നോ വെൻ ദ ലാംഗ്വേജസ് ആർ ഇൻ ദ ന്യൂസ് ചില കാര്യങ്ങൾ പ്രത്യേകം ശ്രദ്ധിക്കൂ ആ ലാംഗ്വേജ് എസ്പെഷ്യലി ഈ പറയുന്ന സോക്കോൾഡ് എന്താ പറയുക ട്രൈബൽ ലാംഗ്വേജസും അല്ലെങ്കിൽ അങ്ങനെയുള്ള ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ആയിരിക്കും മോസ്റ്റ്ലി നമ്മൾ ലൈക്ക് ചോദിക്കാറുള്ളത് സോ എനിവേ പ്ലീസ് ടേക്ക് കെയർ വെൻ യു കവർ ദ ലാംഗ്വേജസ് യെസ് ദാറ്റ് പർട്ടിക്കുലർ അത് സംസാരിക്കുന്ന ട്രൈബ് ഏതാണെന്ന് നോക്കണം അത് ബിലോങ് ചെയ്യുന്ന ലാംഗ്വേജ് ഫാമിലി ഏതാണെന്ന് നോക്കണം അല്ലെങ്കിൽ പർട്ടിക്കുലർ റേസ് യു നോ യെസ് ദാറ്റ് ലാംഗ്വേജ് ആട്രിബ്യൂട്ടഡ് ടു എ പർട്ടിക്കുലർ റേസ് ഓക്കെ ആ എലമെന്റ്സ് ശ്രദ്ധിക്കുക ആൻഡ് ദ ഏരിയ ദ ഏരിയ വെർ ദ ലാംഗ്വേജ് സ്പോക്കൺ ദെൻ ദ സ്ക്രിപ്റ്റ് ഇഫ് ദ ഹാവ് സ്ക്രിപ്റ്റ് ചില ലാംഗ്വേജസിന് സ്ക്രിപ്റ്റ് ഉണ്ട് ചിലതിന് സ്ക്രിപ്റ്റ് ഇല്ല ശരിയല്ലേ അപ്പൊ അതിന്റെ സ്ക്രിപ്റ്റ് ഏതാണെന്ന് നോക്കണം ഇങ്ങനെയുള്ള എലമെന്റ്സ് ഒന്ന് ശ്രദ്ധിച്ചേക്കാം കാരണം ഇതിന് ചുറ്റിപ്പറ്റിയാണ് യു പി എസ് സി സാധാരണ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ചോദിക്കാറുള്ളത് പ്ലീസ് ടേക്ക് കെയർ സോ യു സി ദിസ് ഇസ് ഡിക്ലെയർഡ് ആസ് ആൻ ഒഫീഷ്യൽ ലാംഗ്വേജ് ഓഫ് ത്രിപുര യെസ് അത് ഡിക്ലെയർ ചെയ്ത കൗൺസിൽ ഏതാണെന്നൊന്ന് പ്രത്യേകം ശ്രദ്ധിച്ചേക്കാം ഓക്കെ ദെൻ ദിസ് ഇസ് ലാംഗ്വേജ് സ്പോക്കൺ ബൈ ബൊറോക് പീപ്പിൾ ബിലോങ്ങിങ് ടു ത്രിപുര ഓക്കെ ദെൻ ദിസ് ഇസ് ബ്രാഞ്ച് ഓഫ് ബോറോ പീപ്പിൾ ഓഫ് അസാം ബിലോങ്ങിങ് ടു സിനോ ടിബറ്റൻ ലിംഗ്വിസ്റ്റിക് ഗ്രൂപ്പ് അപ്പൊ ഏത് ലിംഗ്വിസ്റ്റിക് ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ആണ് ഏത് ലിംഗ്വിസ്റ്റിക് ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ആണ് യെസ് അപ്പൊ അതാണ് ഞാൻ ആൻഡ് ഈ സി റാഷൽ ഐഡന്റിറ്റി ഈ എലമെന്റ്സ് ഒക്കെയാണ് നമുക്ക് യു പി സി പെർസ്പെക്ടീവിൽ ഇമ്പോർട്ടന്റ് ആയിട്ടുള്ളത് ഓക്കെ യു പി സി പെർസ്പെക്ടീവിൽ ഇമ്പോർട്ടന്റ് ആയിട്ടുള്ളത് പ്ലീസ് ടേക്ക് കെയർ ആൻഡ് ദ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ക്യാൻ ബി ആസ്റ്റ് ലൈക്ക് ദിസ് ഓക്കെ കൊബോറോ ലാംഗ്വേജ് റീസെന്റ് സീൻ ഇൻ ദ ന്യൂസ് ഈസ് സ്പോക്കൺ ഇൻ വിച്ച് സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഓക്കെ അത് ചിലപ്പോൾ ഇങ്ങനെ ചോദിക്കാം ഇവിടെ സ്റ്റേറ്റിന് പകരം ചിലപ്പോൾ പർട്ടിക്കുലർ ട്രൈബിന്റെ പേര് ചോദിക്കാം അല്ലെങ്കിൽ അത് ബിലോങ് ചെയ്യുന്ന ലാംഗ്വേജ് ഫാമിലി ഏതാണെന്ന് ചോദിക്കാം അല്ലെങ്കിൽ അത് സംസാരിക്കുന്ന അല്ലെങ്കിൽ അതിന്റെ സ്ക്രിപ്റ്റ് ഏതാണെന്ന് ചോദിക്ക
okay so this type of the questions they ask in the preliminary examination please take care of it okay so it belongs to which indian state tribura okay appo chala keywords mathram nokki poya madi similar way you remember this yeah there is all chicky script why this is in the news idu edu edu particular tribe wise it connected aanu yes ningal already idu vaichittundu seriyalle ningal news paper la cover cheyadathana yes recently prime minister wished the people of sandal tribe on the occasion of this hul divas hul divas you know nammal ee sandal hul nu adu oru upsc question aayirunnu you remember 1885 seriyalle sandal hul 1885 that was in uh, june 30 this june 30 is regarded as the hul divas that is revolution divas you know you see the sandal tribes in 1885 they organized a hul the a rebellion against this british british company am i right and the reason that you know why the sandals why the sandals you know raised against this british east india company uh, yeah that was because of the introduction of that permanent settlement act am i right Cornwall is introduced to permanent settlement, zamindari settlement, where the Sandals they lost their ownership over the land, they become tenants at the will, they lost the control over the revenue, the produce, and they lost ownership of the land, and they were brutally, you know, exploited by the zamindars, money lenders, and these revenue collectors, etc., etc., etc. Shirele. Then the zamindars organized a rebellion against these agents of this colonial government. That was Sandal Hul. That angana thenne UPC Hul enda anu parni chodi chetu ndai erno. So Sandal Hul, Sandal Rebellion. That was you know tribal peasantry revolt against this zamindari settlement. A zamindari settlement de kondo nado konde. Obviously, our ownership na stepeto, revenue na stepeto, and they're being exploited by zamindars, their agents, money lenders, revenue collectors, etc. അപ്പൊ ആ റിവോൾട്ട് ആയിരുന്നു സന്താൾ ഹോൾ എയ്റ്റീൻ എയ്റ്റി ഫൈവ് ജൂൺ തേർട്ടി സോ റീസെന്റ്ലി പ്രൈം മിനിസ്റ്റർ ഓഫ് ഇന്ത്യ യെസ് വിഷ് ടു ദ പീപ്പിൾ ഓഫ് സന്താൾ ട്രൈബ് ഓൺ ദ ഒക്കേഷൻ ഓഫ് ദ ഹോൾ ഡിവേഴ്സ് യെസ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് യൂസിംഗ് ദീസ് ഓൾ ചിക്കി സ്ക്രിപ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ സന്താൾ സന്താളി ലാംഗ്വേജ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ബീങ് ദിസ് ഇസ് ബീങ് ആഡഡ് ഇൻ ടു ദിസ് യു നോ ഓ യാ ദിസ് യാ ദിസ് ദിസ് യാ ബൈ ദിസ് നയൻറ്റി സെക്കൻഡ് കോൺസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂഷണൽ അമെൻഡ്മെന്റ് ആക്ട് സന്താളി ഇസ് ആഡഡ് ടു ഷെഡ്യൂൾ എയ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ദിസ് ഇന്ത്യൻ കോൺസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂഷൻ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ഡിക്ലെയർഡ് ആസ് ദ ഒഫീഷ്യൽ ലാംഗ്വേജ് ഓഫ് യു നോ ഇന്ത്യൻ കോൺസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂഷൻ അമ്മ റൈറ്റ് സോ യു സെഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ട്വൻറ്റി ടു ലാംഗ്വേജസ് ആൻഡ് ദിസ് ഇസ് ബീങ് വൺ ഓഫ് ദ ഒഫീഷ്യൽ ലാംഗ്വേജസ് ആൻഡ് യു നോ യെസ് ദിസ് ഇസ് ഷെഡ്യൂൾ എയ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ ഇന്ത്യൻ കോൺസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂഷൻ ദാറ്റ് ഡീൽസ് വിത്ത് ദ ഒഫീഷ്യൽ ലാംഗ്വേജസ് അത് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് അറിയാം ശരിയല്ലേ അപ്പോൾ ശ്രദ്ധിക്കുക സന്താലി ഇസ് ആൻ ഒഫീഷ്യൽ ലാംഗ്വേജ് അതിൻ്റെ സ്ക്രിപ്റ്റ് ഏതാണ് എന്നുള്ളത് ശ്രദ്ധിക്കുക വട്ട് വാസ് ദ സ്ക്രിപ്റ്റ് ഓൾ ചിക്കി സ്ക്രിപ്റ്റ് ഓക്കെ All Chiki script is used by which of the following tribes in India? So that is a question here. All Chiki script is used by which of the following? Which of the following tribes in India? Tribes are very very important for us here. India is blessed blessed with so many tribes, tribal traditions, dances, music, festivals, languages, scripts. Okay. So here, this script is used by Sandal tribe. Which tribe? Sandal tribe. Now similar way, there is another question, another topic. You see. Kui language by this Odisha cabinet proposed including Kui language in the eighth schedule of the constitution. So the question is, as of now, whether it is official language or not? Not. This is just a proposal, yeah. This is a, this is a proposal. Odisha cab, Odisha cabinet proposed uh, for inclusion of this Kui language in the eighth schedule of the Indian constitution. It belongs to Dravidian family. Take care. If we are not aware of the signing, lad, Anna. Okay. If they are not belong to any other. dravidian family that is one thing and it is spoken by people of this uh, yes a the tribe ana again the tribe is important for you corn tribe you know and that is the largest tribe of odisha that is the largest tribe of largest tribe of odisha it uses odia script again see this is another keyword you have to take here odia script kondi gumse Kondi Gumse. These are the dialects of this Kui language. Kondi Gumse. Dialects of the Kui language, and the script is Odia script, and it belongs to Dravidian family. It is it is belonging to Dravidian family, and Kond or Kanda are the tribes they use this Kui language. Got the point, na? Three or four keywords you all have to remember. One is this is you know this is belonging to Dravidian family, and the other tribe are the use in the yes that is by this you know Kond or Kanda tribe. and in the script odia script ana karoshti script alla brahmi script alla devanagari script alla odia script ana 
ഡെൻസി കൗണ്ടി ഗുംസൈ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഇതിന്റെ ഡയലക്ട്സ് ആണ് ഇതിന്റെ ഡയലക്ട്സ് ആണ് സോ പ്ലീസ് ടേക്ക് കെയർ ഓഫ് ദോസ് ആസ്പെക്ട്സ് ഓക്കെ Kui language belongs to which of the following family of languages? This is the way you can expect a question here. Okay, Kui language belongs to which of the following family of languages? Aryan, Dravidian, Indo-Chinese, none of the above. So let me ask you very, very, uh, you know, quickly. Yes, e language in the script here, then. Odia script, then. Dialect, say, then, then. Yes, e the family, like, belong to, you know, Dravidian family. Now, there is another topic which was in the current affairs, which is Lothal, ancient maritime heritage center, you know, Lothal, you see. So, we know that in the for example, Indus, we know that Indus in the Uribad sites, UPC, Stiram, I to the Karundas, sites, Madinda findings, and the cultural historical relevance, Stiram, I to the Karundas, Mega, for example, you know, site in which the tropic of cancer passes through. The only in the site through which this tropic of cancer passes through. Hey, the site, Anna. Can you say? Anybody? Online guys? Offline guys? Anybody? Which site? Come on, you say. You say. Which site? The only in the site, you know, where the tropic of cancer passes through. Hey, the site, Anna. Lothal, Anna. Mohan, Chudar, Anna. Harap, Anna. Sukkotar, Anna. Kalibangan, Anna. Dolavirayano, Dolavira. Dolavira, do you think this is the same site which is known for its water management system? Do you think this is the same site? This is the same site. Somebody said Kalibangan, somebody said Lothal, uh, but the answer is Dolavira. Am I right? Yes, that belongs to which Indian states? Gujarat, Rajasthan, Punjab, Haryana, UP, Gujarat. Okay. Again, this is the site which you know that uh, this is only IVC site which got into UNESCO heritage list. Am I right? Known for its unique water management, conservation, preservation system, etc. Am I right? Having loads of artificial canals, dams, and these reservoirs, etc. Fine, good. So here, this way, they can ask a question. And for example, there is a question like that: uh, priest king statue and the bronze image of dancing girl belonging to which in the site? Mohan Jadaro. Mohanjadaro, two rows of six granaries situated. Two rows of six granaries situated. Is it Harappa or Mohanjadaro? In the signboard is discovered from. In the signboard. In the script is known as Bostrofer and script, you know. From right to left, then left to right, using this, you know, like uh, signs and symbols, not alphabetic letters. Okay, so again, I'm not confusing you. Please try to understand. This is very, very important for you, PC. The popular IVC sites, their findings, their locations, their geographical features, which are important for you. Okay. Now, Lothal, Central Government of India. Yes, uh, recently we have seen that uh, proposed to this project. What is that? National Maritime Heritage Complex, NMHC. NMHC, okay, National, yes, National Maritime Heritage Complex, you know, they will be building a National Maritime Heritage Complex in Lothal, okay, Ministry of Ports, Shipping and Waterways under Sagarmala project, you know, initiating this particular, uh, Sagarmala program initiating this particular project, that is important, they can ask a question like this, this National Maritime Heritage Complex, NMHC, you know, it is being proposed under which ministry, under which scheme? I'm going to question you expect here. So please try to understand. Yes, this is under Ministry of Ports, Shipping and Waterways, under this Sagarmala project, you know, initiating this particular project that is National Maritime Heritage Complex. Okay. And recently, this National Institute of Oceogra Oceanography, Goa, they discovered some marine microfossils, salt, and gypsum crystals. Adandana Suji Pikinada. This National Institute of Oceanography in Goa discovered marine microfossils and salt and gypsum crystals, which indicate that once it was a dockyard. Okay, if it was salt water on Dairno, sea water on Dairno, maybe sea access on Dairno, it was a dockyard. And Lothal was, you know, this is man made, first ever India's man made artificial dockyard. Okay, they had a trade with the Mediterranean world here. They practiced to trade, you know, this overseas trade on this Arabian Sea. 
they had a trade link with this Egypt or this uh, uh, Mediterranean world, etc. So, of course, this Lothal was, you know, an ancient Indus maritime trade center or it was an ancient dockyard. Okay. So, please check here. If you IVC sites, you will cover the IVC sites, you will cover the IVC sites cover the IVC sites. That is the findings, that is the geographical features, that is the locations. Okay. Lothal, one of the sites of IVC. Thriving trade center in ancient times with its trade of beads, gems and ornaments. It was located in the state of? It is located in the state of Gujarat. Moving on to another topic which is you know Chardam. Chardam project you heard about this? Whether it is connected to uh, what, 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 what is uh, I mean any connections with uh, any industries or any areas? Pilgrimage. Okay. Tourism pilgrimage. So, Chardam project is a major infrastructure initiative in the state of Uttarakhand. So, take care. It uh, is the state in the initiative on Uttarakhand in the initiative on this is a this is a major infrastructure initiative. Okay. This is a pilgrimage circuit in Uttarakhand. These are the keywords you have to take care. Okay. Allah Vaikenda, Allah Kavarenda. This is a pilgrimage circuit in Uttarakhand. Involves visiting four sacred Hindu shrines located in Himalayas. Are they the Badrinath, Kedarnath, Gangotri and Eminotri. This is a clockwise direction where we are pilgrimage. They say first Eminotri, then Gangotri, then Kedarnath and ends up with Badrinath. Okay. So this is nothing but you take care that this particular project, Chardam project, it's a major infrastructure initiative by the Indian state, you know, by the ministry of this Uttarakhand. And see, this is a pilgrimage circuit in Uttarakhand, visiting four holy places, Hindu shrines. What are they? Four holy shrines of Himalayas. You see, what are they? Yes, this Badrinath, Kedarnath, Gangotri and this Eminotri. Now, if you look at UPC, see, Chardam Road Project aims to connect which of the following pilgrimage centers? Questions questions that is why I framed the same type of the question here. Evanotri, Ujjain, Varanasi, Badrinath. But take care that this pilgrimage circuit, you know, covering four holy Hindu shrines. What are they? What are they? There is Badrinath, there is Kedarnath, there is Gangotri, and this Eminotri. So when I say Chardam project of Uttragan, this pilgrimage circuit project of Uttragan, I must revive, I must remember. Covering four pilgrim sites, what are they? There is Badrinath, Kedarnath, Gangotri and Eminotri. Okay. So, take care. What will be your answer? This infrastructure road project initiative covers what all the pilgrim places are. Out of the given choices, Eminotri and Badrinath. Other sites are Gangotri and Kedarnath. Fine. Good. Then there is Orvakallu rock paintings. When I go to Mesolithic painting, this is known for Mesolithic painting, prehistoric painting. UPC asked questions, they asked in mains also, yeah. The silent features of these prehistoric paintings, they asked in the mains examination in GS, GS1, culture part. Similar way in the prelims, they can ask the questions. For example, they can ask the prehistoric sites, prehistoric, these mural painting sites or these rock painting sites. Rock painting sites, you know, that is one question. For example, can you suggest to me one example? A site which is known for prehistoric paintings representing Paleolithic, Mesolithic, Calcolithic paintings. Bimbedaga. Bimbedaga is UNESCO heritage site. Is there in the UNESCO list? Yes, Bimbedaga representing Paleolithic, Mesolithic, Chalcolithic paintings. Okay, so you can expect a question like rock cut painting sites of India, their themes. Okay, their themes, etc. So, this is something, yes, and locations. You see, its location is, you know, on the bank of this, uh, or it is in the Krishna River Valley. It is in the Krishna River Valley. So, please take care. This is prehistoric rock painting site. This is in the, uh, you know, lower Krishna River Valley, uh, Orvakallu. Orvakallu paintings, that is in Andhra Pradesh. This is in the lower Krishna Valley site. Adu Pratega Swadhiga, geography, history, and connected with Chodhika Runde. So, it is important for you. Then the question can be like this. Things will be much easier for you. The question is like this. Yes, this uh, Orvakal rock paintings recently in the news situated in the valley of Krishna Godavari 
സൺ ഗംഗ എക്സെട്ര എവിടെയാണ് കൃഷ്ണ ആൻഡ് മെസോലത്തിക് പെയിന്റിങ്സ് നമ്മൾ ബിംബേദക പഠിച്ചപ്പോൾ അതിന്റെ ചില ഫീച്ചേഴ്സ് പഠിച്ചായിരുന്നു മെസോലത്തിക് പെയിന്റിങ്സിന്റെ ഫീച്ചേഴ്സ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് വി ഹൗ സീൻ ദാറ്റ് ക്യാൻവാസിന്റെ സൈസ് ചെറുതാവുന്നു തീംസ് ലൈക്ക് മൾട്ടിപ്പിൾ തീംസ് അവർ ഉപയോഗിക്കുന്നു ശരിയല്ലേ മൾട്ടിപ്പിൾ തീംസ് ഉപയോഗിക്കുന്നു അതിൽ മേജർ തീം എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഹണ്ടിങ് സീൻ ആയിരുന്നു വട്ട് ദിസ് എന്ത് സീൻ ആയിരുന്നു ഹണ്ടിങ് സീൻ ആയിരുന്നു പിന്നെ മെസോലത്തിക് റോ പെയിന്റിങ്സിന്റെ മറ്റൊരു പ്രത്യേകത വി ഹൗ സീൻ ദാറ്റ് യെസ് ദിസ് കമ്മ്യൂണിറ്റി സോർട്ട് ഓഫ് പെയിന്റിങ് ദേ ഹൗ ഡൻ കമ്മ്യൂണിറ്റി സോർട്ട് ഓഫ് പെയിന്റിങ് ദേ ഹൗ ഡൻ കമ്മ്യൂണിറ്റി സോർട്ട് ഓഫ് community sort of painting they have done family kind of painting i mean women and men sitting cooking you know that kind of the painting they have done then we have seen that both male and sorry both nude and clothed women paintings we have seen clothed and nude women paintings we have seen community sort of painting we have seen and themes are multiplied and most dominating scene was hunting scene am i right so kore features mesolithic painting in the features endana paleolithic kalagattile prehistoric painting in the features endana similar way calcolithic like varumbol avadathe painting in the features endana those things you have to you have to take care menhirs menhirs what what do you have any guess about menhir what is menhir is a stone structure am i right is a stone structure belonging to megalithic age megalithic you know it happened in uh, different times in different parts of indian subcontinent roughly speaking this is something between let us say 2500 bc 2500 bc something like that sometimes it went up to 200 bc also okay so anyway megalithic age mega mega means huge stone age megalithic huge stone structures you know most of their concentrations are in the south india so megalithic structures are the menhir is you know one of the megalithic structures huge stone structures okay so you see heritage enthusiasts of telangana telangana state they seek unesco tag for menhir such as this mudumal village in telangana mudumal village you know it's having many menhirs here yeah. this is huge stone structures you know other tomb burial site nirmichada irikka you know that is you know oru particular pradhana petta vyakti marichu ayalde ormeke aitu avada nirmichada avam ayine pala purposes undu that we will discuss so the contest is you know this menhir contest is you know this is mudumal village mudumal village in telangana is having this menhirs and heritage enthusiasts they seek the government yes they seek this uh, unesco you know unesco tag for menhir such as mudumal village and take care menhir the definition endha nu nokku menhirs are upright stones from this megalithic age okay they are upright stone structures stone tombs here yeah, stone towers you see this kind of the single stone towers okay then see this this mudumal village is a home of one of southeast asia's largest cluster of menhirs mudumal is having largest cluster of menhirs mudumal is having where is its location here which state which indian state telangana and they are as old as 3500 bc appo ee megalithic kalagattathinte age or uniform age onnalla let's say that in different parts of indian subcontinent megalithic you know happened at a different time uh, age okay this is in telangana you said it fine good now just look into the question menhirs are upright stones from indus valley civilization this is the way they will confuse you you must understand that menhir polala structures not belonging to ivc it is belonging to megalithic age it is belonging to megalithic age this is not a structure of indus civilization and you know that indus civilization happened in which part of india indus civilization where was its concentration it was in yes it was in the northwest parts you might have seen that now here i said mudumal this is in southern part here and megalithic most of its concentration in the southern parts of indian subcontinent okay yes you said it so menhirs are upright stones from indus civilization which is absolutely a wrong statement they are generally erected above the burial site or near a burial site as a memorial so you know just look into this this is generally not saying you know absolutely extremely this like this no such things are the a general generic statement saying that they are generally erected above a burial site near a burial site as a memorial അപ്പോൾ ഇതിന് എക്സെപ്ഷൻസ് ഉണ്ട് കേട്ടോ എല്ലാം അങ്ങനെ ആയിക്കോണമെന്ന് ഒരു നിർബന്ധമില്ല അതുകൊണ്ടാണ് അവിടെ ഏത് വേർഡ് ഉപയോഗിച്ചിരിക്കുന്നത് ജനറലി എറക്റ്റഡ് അബൌ എ ബറിയൽ സൈറ്റ് ഓർ നിയർ എ ബറിയൽ സൈറ്റ് ആസ് എ മെമ്മോറിയൽ ഇൻ ദാറ്റ് കോണ്ടസ്റ്റ് യു നോ യെസ് ദാറ്റ് ഡെഫിനേഷൻ റിഗാർഡിംഗ് ദിസ് മെൻഹിർ ഈസ് അബ്സല്യൂട്ട്ലി കറക്റ്റ് ഓ
then see they were used to measure time identify specific days months and seasons from the shadows adum sheriyana okay ee megalithic people ee structures pani kadipikunnathu just a memorial uh, tomb structure aayittu mathramalla this is also you know supporting their agriculture supporting their it is to identify these uh, seasons this is to identify these climatic conditions etc they used to these uh, menhir structures also that contest they were used to measure time identify specific days months and season for the from the shadows that term is you know that is absolutely correct regarding menhirs appo idile namaku first statement eliminate cheyam second seriyana thirdum seriyana yes only two will be your answer okay appo maximum current affairs ningal cover cheyumbol maximum questions cover cheyade cheyanayittu sheelikya appo edanadu these menhir structures are in mudumal village that is in telangana that is in telangana adine kurichulla basic idea manasilakkuga they are upright to stones okay upright to stones belonging to megalithic age and they are generally erected above burial site or near a burial site as a memorial then third point i said even they are used to measure time seasons and this specific days months etc okay by identifying the shadows and see there is another thing which is a todo language 2021 they asked a question you remember this question you remember this question question was with reference to india the term halbi ho hui they pertain to what the options they given dance forms of northwest india musical instruments prehistoric cave paintings tribal languages so again i'm telling you that you must know the official languages of india okay according to this uh, uh, you know schedule 8 of the indian constitution what are the official languages you must also explore the tribal languages of india especially the tribal languages which are in the news you know you how to cover the languages the script the family they belong to maybe european family sorry uh, dravidian family which were you know similar way you must know the tribes which use this language the script they use the dialects they used and in the terms why bandapattu upsc will ask the questions okay so see this is primitive and isolated tribal group population yes that is in which part of india yaar which part of india yes they, they are in the food hills of himalayas okay they are located in the food hills of himalayas yes that is south of the borderline between bhutan and west bengal nokka ningal ivare evade belong tribure aano odisha aano assamese aano himalayans aano evade belong cheyna tribes aanu pratheega nokka a language belong cheyna language family edaanu nokka adinu script undengil chala tribal languages nu script undu chala adinu script illa seriyalle appo adinu script undengil script edaanu nokka adu samsarikkuna yes tribal vibhagam edaanu nokka adinu state edaanu nokka these things are important for you it belongs to ഓക്കെ അപ്പോൾ സിമ്പിളായിട്ട് ഞാൻ പറയുന്ന ചില കാര്യങ്ങൾ ശ്രദ്ധിക്കൂ ഇറ്റ് ബിലോങ്സ് ടു സിനോ ടിബറ്റൻ ഫാമിലി യെസ് ഇറ്റ് ഡസ് നോട്ട് ഹാവ് എ സ്ക്രിപ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ഓൺ അതിന് സ്വന്തമായിട്ട് സ്ക്രിപ്റ്റ് ഉണ്ടോ സ്ക്രിപ്റ്റ് ഇല്ല സിനോ ടിബറ്റൻ ഫാമിലിയിലേക്ക് ബിലോങ് ചെയ്യുന്നു ആൻഡ് ഹിമാലയൻ ഫൂട്ട് ഹിൽസിലെ ട്രൈബ്സ് ഇത് സംസാരിക്കുന്നു ഓക്കെ ആ കാര്യങ്ങൾ പ്രത്യേകം ശ്രദ്ധിക്കുക ദിസ് ഐ വിൽ ഷെയർ വിത്ത് യു ദർ ആർ സെർട്ടൻ ട്രൈബൽ ലാംഗ്വേജസ് യു നോ വിച്ച് ഇസ് ഹാവിങ് ഓൺ സ്ക്രിപ്റ്റ് സന്താലി ഈസ് ഓൾറെഡി ആഡഡ് ഇൻ ടു it is schedule so here you see that uh, there are certain tribal languages they have their own script but there are certain tribal languages they do not have their own script ap adum pratheka sradhikya this i will share you okay take care popular tribal languages and adinde script edana adine base cheyidittu upsc ku questions chodikkam chodicha charitram undu okay shall we go to the next one okay this i will share with you statue of oneness you know there are different different statue of uh, liberty or statue of equality statue of unity different different statues are there that itself is a tourism program am i right it is attracting lots of tourists and bringing lots of money okay and it is making india program it's boosting gdp so many things are there now this is statue of oneness ഇത് ആരുടെ സ്റ്റാച്യൂ ആണ് അങ്ങനെ വേണമെങ്കിൽ യു പി എസ് സിക്ക് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ചോദിക്കാം രാമാനുജന്റെ യുനോ ദേ സ്റ്റാച്യൂ ഡെഡിക്കേറ്റഡ് ടു ദിസ് ഭക്തി സെയിൻ രാമാനുജ അത് ഏത് സ്റ്റാച്യൂ ആണ് സ്റ്റാച്യൂ ഓഫ് യൂണിറ്റി സ്റ്റാച്യൂ ഓഫ് ഇക്വാലിറ്റി സ്റ്റാച്യൂ ഓഫ് കമ്പാഷൻ ഏത് സ്റ്റാച്യൂ ആണ് സ്റ്റാച്യൂ ഓഫ് സ്റ്റാച്യൂ ഓഫ് ഇക്വാലിറ്റി സർദാർ വല്ലഭായ് പട്ടേലിന്റെ സ്റ്റാച്യൂ 
unity statue of he is the guy who integrated the princely states into india union am i right so anyway this statue of equality that is dedicated to ramanujacharya ramanujacharya in the philosophy edana eh visishtadvaita visishtadvaita yeah of course not the statue of unity it is statue of equality ramanujacharya statue of equality now here coming to this uh, uh, yeah what is his name shankaracharya adi shankaracharya statue of oneness dedicated to adi shankaracharya his philosophy is advaita philosophy advaita which philosophy advaita philosophy there is only one reality that is brahma brahma is identical with uh, atma self you know rest of them is illusion when you come out of the illusion when you realize that there is only one reality that is brahma brahma is identical with the atma that moment you achieve salvation so according to him for salvation path of knowledge is recommended what is recommended path of knowledge path of knowledge regarding god or brahma which is required for salvation ramanujacharya you know that is path of devotion path of devotion that is the difference upsc asked this question yaar advaita philosophy le nammal kandu adi shankaracharya propose cheynathu path of knowledge regarding brahma is required for salvation path of path of knowledge path of path of knowledge regarding brahma that is required for salvation but uh, ramanujacharya says that path of devotion that unconditional selfless love to god is required for salvation okay adeyathinte philosophy visishta advaita philosophy idheyathinte philosophy advaita philosophy so just go for bhakti saints and their philosophies their teachings which is very very important for you so madhya pradesh government unveiled this uh, yes 108 foot tall statue of adi shankaracharya im omkaresh omkaresh reshwar named it as statue of oneness appo ningal different different statues arkakke and dedicate cheyirikkunnathu endu pratheka sradhikka statue of equality und unity und oneness und bhakti saints ne sradhikka bhakti saints inde philosophies um avare teachings um sradhikka you know there is sant tukram is bengali bhakti saint marathi bhakti saint sant tukram bengali eh maratha maratha bhakti sain and he was contemporary of uh, shivaji the shivaji the great and he heard about the abhangas his poetry is called the abhangas and he is the propounder of that vidoba cult monotheistic single god vidoba cult is propounded by uh, sant tukram he was the uh, you know contemporary of uh, shivaji maratha ruler shivaji Uh, and he is the maratha bhakti saint that is sant tukram okay similar way this different bhakti lord chaitanya is the chaitanya mahaprabhu gaudiya vaishnavism bengali bhakti saint shrile so similar similar way go for different different bhakti saints are there sufi saints are there then the areas of their propagations areas of their contributions and their teachings philosophies you have to cover very well yes these are some current affairs which i share with you in between we will discuss the current affairs now we are getting into that organized revision of ancient medieval starting with the ivc when i say ivc i am not discussing everything here core things we are revising here we know that the primary areas core areas of ivc civilization it was sindh and punjab from there it is spread to all the north south west eastward seriously so core areas of ivc civilization sindh and punjab and first discovery by that is in the 20th century then see this can be classified into different phases here ivc ne namakku pala phases aayittu divide cheyan pattum edakkana phases yes there is pre harappan early harappan mature harappan late harappan ivada sradhikkendathu nammal ee kaanuna urban features ella urban features okke belong cheyathu mature harappan lekkana mature harappan de kaalagattam edana mature harappan de kaalagattam edana can you say all the urban features you know all the advanced features can be seen in this you know mature phase only because this pre harappan is a rural culture this early harappan is a rural culture late harappan is also a rural culture only urban culture nu parayna edana which is this mature harappan and the kalagatta edana yes this is something 2800 bc to ano 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 pinne ed bc aanu come on you say you already studied here i am asking you what is the timeline of the mature phase of indus civilization 
Recent archaeological excavations such as Ragi Gargi Birana, they say that this civilization is, you know, uh, as old as uh, 7500 BC, 8000 BC, etc. I am asking you what is the mature phase of this civilization? Where the urban features are visible? Online students, offline students, anybody? Mature phase? Eh? Okay, 2600 BC. Okay, you said uh, 2600 BC. To what BC? Okay, 1900 BC, approximately. Anyway, different historians have different opinions. Just leave it. At least it is 2600 BC, 2900 BC, which is, you know, urban phase. Urban feature, like urban phase in the main characteristics in the world. Also, you try to understand this civilization. This civilization is sustained by agricultural surplus and mercantilism. Shariyale. Agricultural surplus on the other one, you would have all the extensive Ayatollah inland overseas trade on the other one. Shirele. So, this civilization is fed by a huge trade network here. It had a huge trade network with Egypt, Iran, Iraq, or Mediterranean world, etc. Shirele. It had a trade with the Gulf, it had a trade with Egypt, it had a trade with the Mediterranean world, etc. So, trade is, you know, that is because of agricultural surplus. You would have granaries on the other one. Agricultural surplus collected with the granaries and you know and they followed a barter system am I right? These people followed a barter system. If it a grid system just like a chessboard you see that the streets and roads are cutting at right angles dividing city into many rectangular blocks. So city planning or in the smart city planning you see grid pattern they followed. What they followed? Grid pattern. City division is there. Citadel and lower town. Now UPC question can be like this. Is citadel ayadu bagatthu belong, sithi chayyu no, lower town ayadu bagatthu sithi chayyu no. Velliya buildings akke, inter-civilization da velliya buildings akke onda avunnudu, citadel party la no, lower town party la no. Citadel, ee assembly hall, granaries, great bath, you know, angane ola college buildings, angane ola alangil ruling class in the residential buildings, adakka sithi chayyu no, citadel bagatthu anu, lower town bagatthu sadharna artisans, workmen's in the quarters akke onda the lower town anu. In the end of the question, this citadel is situated towards the western side of the city or eastern side of the city? Lower town is situated? Okay. Okay. So, this is having underground drainage system. Burned bricks is used for construction. They had a pottery. What is their pottery called here? Adityan, your chance. IVC pottery is? Eh? Ah, yes, you said it. Uh, black and red wire. BRW. Okay, fine. Then what is the pottery of Vedic? Revadi. Vedic is? Yes, painted grey wire. Painted grey wire. What is the pottery of the Maurya? Maurian pottery. Maurian age in the pottery. Ah, northern. Ah, northern black. Polish to wear, NPPW. So please take care. What are the different pottery? IVC in the pottery is, you know, which is BRW. IVC pottery is BRW. IVC pottery is BRW. Vedic pottery is PGW. And the Mauryan pottery is NPPW. Okay. So IVC is black and red ware. That is IVC in the civilization. Vedic is painted grey ware. Then Mauryan is northern black Polish to wear. Mauryan is Northern black. Can you match the pair? Lavar is still in the question. Okay, please take care. Mauryan pottery is northern black Polish to wear. Mauryan pottery is northern black Polish to wear. Vedic pottery is PGW, painted grey wear. Painted grey wear. Okay, and Indus pottery is black and red wear. IVC black and red wear. Then Vedic is PGW. Mauryan is northern black Polish to wear. Okay, if you are this is no need to write down, I will share the slides with you. If you are looking at the type of questions, yes, Indus in the site, Indus in the site, that belong to the state, what state belong to the river bank, what state belong to the river bank, what state belong to the and their findings. For example, when I say Mohan Chadaro, I will go for pre-sticking statue, shall you There is pre-sticking statue, there is bronze image of dancing girl, there is mother goddess, shall you Shall you Pashupati Mahadeva seal you know? Pashupati Mahadeva seal? You know? 
ഒരു ചെറിയ പീസ് ഒരു ഒരു ഓവൻ കോട്ടൺ പീ പീസ് കിട്ടിയായിരുന്നു ടെക്സ്റ്റൈൽ പീസ് കിട്ടിയായിരുന്നു അത് മോഹൻചുതാരം ആണോ ബ്രോൺസ് ബ്രോൺസ് ഇമേജ് ഓഫ് ഡാൻസിംഗ് ഗേൾ മോഹൻചുതാരം ആണോ ഏ കാലിഫോർണിയോ ഏ കലിബങ്കൻ പ്രീസ്റ്റിങ് സ്റ്റാച്ചു പശുപതി മഹാദേവ സീൽ ബ്രോൺസ് ഇമേജ് ഓഫ് ഡാൻസിംഗ് ഗേൾ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് സ്മോൾ പീസ് ഓഫ് ദാറ്റ് ഓവൻ ക്ലോത്ത് യു നോ ഓൾ ദിസ് മോഹൻചുതാരോ സായി സെറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് മോഹൻചുതാരോ യു ആർ അബ്സൊല്യൂട്ട്ലി കറക്റ്റ് it is mohanjadaro so you must understand then there is kalibangan you know that uh, on the banks of saraswati river and uh, that a plowed field is identified from this uh, kalibangan no kalibangan rajasthan am i right yes ningal shraddhikya chahundaro chahundara is known as the end uh, city aitana ariyapadunnathu manchester of ivc nanu ariyapadunnathu okay chahudaran oru pratheegatha endana that is a special economic zone city am i right it is an industrial hub it was an industrial hub so oro city inde pratheegathagal sradhiga mohanjadaro kalibangan chahudaro lothal sukkotada banavalli dolavira ee site inde ekke pratheegathagal endanu sradhiga evada sthiti cheyunu ennu sradhiga avadnulla findings endakeyanu nalla sradhiga okay avadnulla findings endakeyanu idu vechu ishtam pole questions upsc chodikkarundu vittu kalayirudu okay river banks so for example mohanjadaro evadiyanu on the bank of indus river kalibangan gaga river in vedic culture it is called gaga river is called saraswati river then see chahundaro left bank of river indus south mohanjadaro lothal it is at the head of this gulf of kambe appo ningal sradhikka orone evada sthiti cheyunu ed river bank ilana ed district ilana ed state ilana sthiti cheyunathu ennullathu pratheega sradhikka avadu ninnulla findings um sradhikka yes fire altars evidence of mixed cropping earliest powder field etc ingane oru description thannayal adu edu site aayirikkum eh there is fire altars discovered you know shows cult of sacrifice fire altars yes there is earliest plowed field evidence of you know multi cropping mixed cropping that is neha says kalibangan and absolutely correct okay known for cotton textile lancashire of ivc no citadel the only city without a citadel and largest number of copper tools identified this is the industrial hub of civilization ivc this is chahudaro am i right yes then there is a city it was a walled city with a heavy fortification a sign board is discovered gold rings discovered three phases of this harappan uh, culture is you know identified located on the tropic of cancer evidence of dams irrigation water reservoir water harvesting system town is divided into three parts there is uh, upper town middle town lower town this description goes to dolavira okay that is dolavira known for cotton trade manchester of harappan civilization regarded as manchester of harappan civilization known for its artificial dockyard evidence of double burial male and female orimichu oru kuriyil adaki irikkunu then see cultivation of rice as early as 1800 bc bead makers shop terracotta model of boards these are ed site in the feature on this is lothal okay so that way you can expect the questions here so this thing i will share you the popular sites their location river banks and major findings major findings for example look into this there is you know banavali hisar district haryana features in the gana var another this is a pre harappan settlement this is a mature harappan settlement then this uh, streets and drains are discovered traces of barley discovered then see terracotta plow discovered that is banavali appo oro site um adinte features ningal pratheega sradhikka idu sthiram chodikkuna oru pattern question aanu can you answer this one indo civilization predominantly a secular civilization religious element though present did not dominate the scene sir yano yes it was an urban civilization it was a secular civilization and the matrilineal culture they followed and women you know dignified women had a dignified position here it was a secular civilization religion practiced but it never dominated the scene that is absolutely correct during this time cotton was used for manufacturing textiles in india yes cotton textile industries were existed and they were cotton traders you know they were called sindan by greek people so they were cotton traders cotton exporters both are correct ragi gargi in haryana is said to be strictly an urban settlement ragi gargi recently excavations are happening going on 
it has the discovery of this you know pre settlement mature settlement later settlement etc so can we say it is strictly an urban settlement strictly and the word you see in the other person it is not strictly okay it has mature settlement early settlement and the features on the granaries and assembly halls located in the west side of the city my question is where is citadel number city planning parimbol urban city planning parimbol city in a run diet to divide the region no there is citadel and the lower town i said lower town less other in general city little down seeking the southern artisans and workers in the amos you know then this citadel ruling classes of the amos you know yalla huge dimensional buildings in city chain of the citadel on a and the question citadel city in the eastern side alano western side alano are you sure yes i'm going to angle granaries and assembly halls okay what are you going to go generally it is അപ്പൊ അങ്ങനെ നിങ്ങൾ ചിന്തിക്കുക സിറ്റഡൽ നിന്ന് ഡയറക്റ്റ് ആയിരിക്കില്ല ചോദിക്കുന്നത് ഞാൻ ഓൾറെഡി പറഞ്ഞു സിറ്റഡൽ ആണ് ഈ പറയുന്ന ഹ്യൂജ് ലാർജ് ഡയമെൻഷണൽ ബിൽഡിംഗ്സ് ഒക്കെ സ്ഥിതി ചെയ്യുന്നത് റൂളിംഗ് ക്ലാസസിന്റെ റെസിഡൻഷ്യൽ ഏരിയാസും സിറ്റഡൽ ആണ് നോ സി ദേ വർഷിപ് ടു കവേഴ്സ് എ ഫെർട്ടിലിറ്റി ഗോഡസ് ഡു യു തിങ്ക് ഹാർപൻസ് വർഷിപ് ടു കവേഴ്സ് എ ഫെർട്ടിലിറ്റി ഗോഡസ് നോ സച്ച് നോ സച്ച് എവിഡൻസ് സാദർ ഇൻഡസ് പീപ്പിൾ വെർ ആൻഡ് എവിഡൻറ്റ് ഫ്രം സീൽ എന്നാണ് പറയുന്നത് പക്ഷേ സീലിൽ ഇല്ലാത്ത ഒരേ ഒരു ആനിമൽ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് കൗ ആയിരുന്നു then see indus people were the earliest people to import cotton from the west they are not importers they are exporters here they are exporters not importers okay so take care so what is correct here eh i will go for two only appo indus civilization padikumba please take care its society is important women is important urbanization is important religion is important its art and craft is important seals you know seals what is the chief material used to for in the seal making steatite you know that is a uh, soft stone uh, you know material uh, so that uh, steatite is the chief material used to for uh, this uh, seal making okay and let me ask you what is the script bostrophian script you know which is written from left to right or right to left first right to left then left to right right to left to left to right it is alphabetical or pictographical pictorial pictographical okay so that again you take care uh, then regarding this uh, uh, findings in the civilization site their findings that also you take care now see this is vedic civilization or vedic age 1500 bc to 1000 bc on rvc age and are you but then rvc age rig vedic age then lvc no are another later vedic so where will you place this rvc rig vedic age you know 1500 bc to 1000 bc LVC is from 1000 BC to yes 600 along with 500 BC. So Rigveda ke achne kuch chula information hamak kya varan naane gitan na the Rigveda Rigveda samkhida ilni naane gitan na the. E later Vedic ke achne kuch chula information gitan na the that is Samaveda samkhida, Yajurveda samkhida, Adharvaveda samkhida, Brahmanas, Aranyika, Subhanishits. Angine lo ribaad literary works onde Vedic literature onde. Vasha Rigveda ne kuch chula information hamak kya tayron na the that is. a uh, rigvedic samhita that is the earliest and the oldest and most sacred of these samhitas okay rigveda samhita now idine kurichu ningal padikkumbol main perspective il ingane oru question ningalku expect kiya for example ivade indus padikkumbol nammal most of the sources nu orna archaeological sources aayirunnu seri alle vedic age lekku varumbo namakku literary vedic literary sources aanu nammal historical source aayittu upayogikkunnathu allengi history construction vendi upayogikkunnathu adine ore samayam plus um minus undu endakkeyana adine പോരായ്മകൾ എന്തൊക്കെയാണ് വെൻ യു യൂസ് വേദാസ് ആസ് യു നോ ഹിസ്റ്റോറിക്കൽ സോഴ്സ് അതിന്റെ പോരായ്മകൾ എന്തൊക്കെയാണ് ഇറ്റ് റിഫ്ലക്ട് റിലീജിയസ് ബിലീഫ് പ്രാക്ടീസസ് ആൻഡ് പോയിന്റ്സ് ഓഫ് യൂസ് ശരിയല്ലേ എക്സാജറേഷൻസ് ഉണ്ടാവാം മേക്ക് ബിലീഫ്സ് ഉണ്ടാവാം മിത്തോളജി ഉണ്ടാവാം റിലീജിയസ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഡൊമിനൻസ് ഉണ്ടാവാം ശരിയല്ലേ ഡെൻ സി കോറിലേറ്റിംഗ് ദ എവിഡൻസ് ഫ്രം ദ വേദാസ് വിത്ത് ആർക്കിയോളജി ദാറ്റ് ഫൈൻഡ് സംടൈംസ് ഡിഫിക്കൽട്ടി ദെൻ സി പ്രോബ്ലം ഓഫ് ഡേറ്റിംഗ് ദ ഋഗ്വേദ ഇതിന്റെ ക്രോണോളജി വലിയ സീൻ ആണ് ഋഗ്വേദ ഏത് കാലഘട്ടത്തിൽ എഴുതപ്പെട്ടു എന്നുള്ളത് ഇപ്പോഴും ഹിസ്റ്റോറിയൻസിന്റെ ഇടയിൽ ഒരു ഡിബേറ്റഡ് ടോപ്പിക് ആണ് ഓക്കെ അപ്പൊ ക്രോണോളജി സെറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് വേറെ വലിയൊരു പ്രശ്നമാണ് ദെൻ സി പക്ഷേ ഹിസ്റ്ററിനെ ഒരു സോഴ്സ് ആയിട്ട് ഉപയോഗിക്കുമ്പോൾ അതിന്റെ അഡ്വാൻറ്റേജസ് സോറി ഹിസ്റ്ററിനെ അല്ല ഈ വേദിക് ലിറ്ററേച്ചറിനെ സോഴ്സ് ആയിട്ട് ഉപയോഗിക്കുമ്പോൾ അതിന്റെ അഡ്വാൻറ്റേജസ് എന്തൊക്കെയാണ് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ വേദ ആസ് എ ഹിസ്റ്റോറിക്കൽ എവിഡൻസ് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഹിസ്റ്റോറിക്കൽ സോഴ്സ് എന്ന് പറയുമ്പോൾ അതിനെന്തെല്ലാം മെറിറ്റ്സ് ഉണ്ട് എന്ന് നോക്കുക land of sapta sindhu rigvedil pradipadikkunnathu aryans vannu aryans sapta sindhu region il settle down cheyadu nanu parayunnathu seri alle appo indus vai inde tributary regions il aanu aryans settle cheyathu aryans avare geography ne kurichu namukku or idea kittunu then see 
ലേറ്റർ വേദിക് ടെസ്റ്റ് കമ്പോസ് ഇൻ ദ ഇൻഡോ ഗാംഗറ്റിക് പ്ലെയിൻസ് അപ്പം ഋഗ്വേദിക് സെറ്റിൽമെന്റ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഈ പറയുന്ന സോ കോൾഡ് ഇൻഡസും അതിന്റെ ട്രിബ്യൂട്ടറീസ് ഉള്ള ഏരിയാസിലാണ് ഋഗ്വേദിക് ആരിയൻസിന്റെ സെറ്റിൽമെന്റ് എന്നും ലേറ്റർ വേദിക് ആരിയൻസിന്റെ സെറ്റിൽമെന്റ് ഗാംഗറ്റിക് പ്ലെയിൻസിലാണെന്നുള്ളത് നമുക്ക് മനസ്സിലാക്കാൻ പറ്റുന്നു ശരിയല്ലേ ദൻ സി റെഫറൻസസ് ടു അസംബ്ലീസ് ലൈക്ക് സഭാ സമിതി അവരുടെ പൊളിറ്റിക്കൽ സ്ട്രക്ചറിനെ കുറിച്ച് ഒരു ഐഡിയ കിട്ടുന്നു ദേ ഹാവ് ദ ട്രൈബൽ അസംബ്ലീസ് ലൈക്ക് സഭാ സമിതി ഗണ വിധാദ എക്സെട്ര വിമൻ ഓൾസോ പാർട്ടിസിപ്പേറ്റഡ് ഇൻ അസംബ്ലീസ് അത് ഏത് അസംബ്ലീസ് ആയിരുന്നു സഭാപതി സഭ ആൻഡ് വിധാദ കൈൻഡ് ഓഫ് അസംബ്ലീസ് വിമൻ ഓൾസോ പാർട്ടിസിപ്പേറ്റഡ് ഡ്യൂറിംഗ് ഋഗ്വേദിക് ടൈംസ് അപ്പം ഈ വേദ ആസ് എ ഹിസ്റ്റോറിക്കൽ സോഴ്സ് എന്നുള്ള രീതിയിൽ ഉപയോഗിക്കുമ്പോൾ നമുക്ക് കിട്ടുന്ന അഡ്വാൻറ്റേജ് എന്താണെന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ ഋഗ്വേദിക് ഏജിൽ നിന്ന് ലേറ്റർ വേദിക് ഏജിലേക്കുള്ള ചേഞ്ച് ആൻഡ് കണ്ടിന്യൂറ്റി പഠിക്കാൻ പറ്റുന്നു പൊളിറ്റിക്കൽ ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂഷൻസിൽ എന്തെല്ലാം ചേഞ്ചസ് സംഭവിച്ചു വിമൻ്റെ സ്റ്റാറ്റസിൽ എന്തെല്ലാം ചേഞ്ചസ് സംഭവിച്ചു റിലീജിയസ് വർഷിപ്സിലും റിലീജിയസ് ബിലീഫ്സിൽ എന്തെല്ലാം കണ്ടിന്യൂറ്റി ചേഞ്ചസ് ഉണ്ടായി സോഷ്യൽ ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂഷൻസിൽ എന്തെല്ലാം ചേഞ്ചസ് ആൻഡ് കണ്ടിന്യൂറ്റി ഉണ്ടായി പൊളിറ്റിക്കൽ ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂഷൻസിൽ എന്തെല്ലാം ചേഞ്ചസ് ആൻഡ് കണ്ടിന്യൂറ്റി ഉണ്ടായി അത് പഠിക്കാനായിട്ട് ഒബിയസ്ലി ഈ പറയുന്ന ലിറ്ററേച്ചർ നമ്മളെ സഹായിക്കുക അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഹീംസ് പഠിക്കുമ്പോൾ വായിക്കുമ്പോൾ ഒബിയസ്ലി ആർ ബി സിയും എൽ ബി സിയും തമ്മിൽ നമുക്ക് ഡിസ്റ്റിംഗ്വിഷ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുന്നു ഓക്കെ യെസ് സെറ്റിൽമെന്റ് ശ്രദ്ധിക്കുക എവിടെയൊക്കെയാണ് ഈസ്റ്റേൺ അഫ്ഗാനിസ്ഥാൻ നോർത്ത് വെസ്റ്റ് ഫ്രണ്ടിയർ പഞ്ചാബ് ആൻഡ് ദീസ് വെസ്റ്റേൺ യു പി സപ്ത സിന്ധു റീജിയനിലാണ് അവർ സെറ്റിൽ ചെയ്തത് അങ്ങനെ വരുമ്പോൾ ഇവിടെ ദർ ഈസ് എ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ക്യാൻ യു ആൻസർ ദിസ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ കോർ ജോഗ്രഫിക്കൽ ഏരിയ ടു വിച്ച് ദ എവിഡൻസ് ഓഫ് ഋഗ്വേദിക് സെറ്റിൽമെന്റ് വുഡ് റിലേറ്റ് ടു അവർ സപ്ത സിന്ധു മണ്ടേ ഷീസ് ഇറ്റ് ട്രൂ ദാറ്റ് സ്റ്റേറ്റ്മെന്റ് ഇസ് ട്രൂ ഐ സേ കോർ ജോഗ്രഫിക്കൽ ഏരിയ ടു വിച്ച് എവിഡൻസ് ഓഫ് ഋഗ്വേദിക് സെറ്റിൽമെന്റ് വുഡ് റിലേറ്റ് ടു അവർ സപ്ത സിന്ധു is it true is it true yes or no no why no saptas hindu is what is the problem with ivc same area where C ivc was situated same area this you know aryans i mean aryans settled the saptas hindu region indus and its tributaries you know same region this rvc people settled later vedic audience you know they migrated to gangetic basins am i right so that to sense this sentence is correct only what they say core geographical area to which evidence of rigvedic settlement would relate to us sapta sindhu that is absolutely correct only now second is entirety of punjab only the entirety of punjab and bordering region haryana would fall under this territory's definition sapta sindhu region do you think it is only punjab and haryana we already seen in the previous slide you see covering so much areas here okay so they say only the entirety of punjab and this bordering haryana that is not this you know this uh, sapta sindhu's definition okay much wider than that broader than that so second statement is that one first statement is seriyana we geography ne connect cheyittu upsc questions chodikkarundu pratheegam shraddhikya now see vedic literature and the classification idine base cheyittu oru vaadu questions chodichittunde vedic literature smriti literature is there shruti literature is there we use shruti literature now coming to shruti literature division sadar please take care samhita sadar abhijit samhita sadar brahmana sadar aranika sadar upanishad sadar so my question is like what is the definition to samhitas what are the four samhitas rigveda samhita samaveda samhita ajurveda samhita which which samhita is divided into white book and black book ajurveda ajurveda which book which which samhita is dealing with uh, hypnotism magical spells and charms etc that is adharva veda which samhita is regarded as the lower work adharva veda now rigveda samhita is the oldest one most sacred one that is dealing with the hymns in praise of various gods that is the oldest and most sacred one okay then next is samaveda samhita set into music then there is ajurveda samhita dealing with the, the formulas and these rules and regulations of these you know sacrifices and there is adharva veda samhita dealing with the charms um, uh, you know spells etc now samhitas nu arena the collection of the hymns in praise of various gods then brahmanas nu arena the they are explanatory notes they are prose version they explain these hymns mantras rituals sacrifices etc then aranyakas nu arenadu concluding part of brahmanas concluding part of brahmanas they are dealing with the mysticism and symbolism anandu aranyakas are dealing with the mysticism and symbolism aranyakas nu arenadu brahmanas inde concluding portions aanu they are dealing with the mysticism and 
symbolism related to sacrifices. That's why we forest books. In the forest, we have to say that 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 we then final and then Veda and then Ubanish. End of the Veda, Ubanish. That is pure wisdom. Dealing with the path of wisdom. Dealing with the path of wisdom. Up here divisions in the important honor. UPC has a Chodi Karunda. Can you answer this question? Which one of the following four Vedas contain an account of magical charms and spells? Adarva Veda. Which, which one? And which, which, which Samhita is dealing with that formulas and this, you know, like uh, rules and regulations of the sacrifices, rituals, etc. That is Ajur Veda. Which book is divided into Shukla Ajur Veda and Krishna Ajur Veda? White book and black book? Samaveda, you know? Ajur Veda, same Ajur Veda. Samaveda, you know? Music. Okay. It's the Samhita of music. Apa e division sum, classification sum, Sadhigya. What are called forest books? Concluding portions of Brahmanas and see deal with the mysticism and symbolism related to sacrifices. They form the natural transition of Upanishads. E description Adina Sutau, Arinigasana Sutau. There is difference between Indus and this Vedic civilization. Indus in a Vedic and compare it on the UPC questions to Jodi Karan. Indus in a Dikamadangal Sradhigo, when I say IVC. I we seen the most of these you know sources are archaeological sources. Am I right? Archaeological sources, either urban civilization, anna, icon worshippers, anna, there is no use of iron, either a bronze age civilization, anna, then see what is missing, cow is missing. What is missing? Cow is missing in their seals and their representations. Then this art of writing, whether no do this whether these people know the art of writing? Come on. Yes, what is that called? Eh? Yes, uh, boast of fear and script. They had a boast of hidden script. This is not a deciphered yar. Not a deciphered. Okay. The script is not deciphered, but they know art of writing, which is boast of hidden script. Then see what was the status of the women yar? Women was dignified, respected, and they had a patrilineal culture or matrilineal culture? Matrilineal culture. Okay. They had a matrilineal culture and uh, the language is identified. Indo European language, Dravidian language, what language they spoke? Not a deciphered, not a deciphered. We don't know what is the language they spoke, but we know they know the art of writing. On the seals, we know their script. Okay. Then coming to this uh, RVC, LVC, I mean Vedic age, you see, most of the sources, you know, they are literary sources. Shirele, sources, literary sources are a rural character. RVC, I got LVC, I got a grammar. And RVC in the Aditya economy, no, in the pastoral economy, no, later on, you know, shifted to full fleshed agriculture then nature worshippers are no natural phenomena ne worship cheyna aalkar ayirunnu personify cheyidu worship cheyna aalkar ayirunnu then see idinde second phase edana lvc phase is known as iron phase lvc phase is known as iron phase then see our the two important aitulla wealth cow and they are horse riders they are warrior classes these are peace loving people they are warrior classes even illiterate ayirunnu then rvc lvc le women de status change cheyunnundu seri alle rvc le endayirunnu Rigvedic age, women was dignified. Women was dignified. Women had a good position. Comparatively good position, yeah. But LVC like you Yes, they you know they lost their role in the tribal assemblies. Okay. They you know a patriarchal or you set up buying right to dominate and women women the position okay lower here. Now again coming to this language they spoke here. What is the language they spoke? Indo-European that is Sanskrit. They are Sanskrit speakers. They are Indo-European language speakers. Okay. Apart divisions, second the Pratyekam Sradhigya.